you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you can be expecting for Madden 21 news, Madden 21 info, Madden 21 leaks for the next few weeks. Now, if you guys have followed Madden for the last few years, or at least last year, you didn't know that the way Madden news worked, like coming up to Madden, is usually pretty exciting and Typically, I don't know if they usually do this. So this year they're doing it on the 18th as the news date for Madden 21 Mutt news. Now we've got a lot of reg team news, like X Factor news, and a lot of stuff like that. But as far as Madden 21 Mutt news goes, they announced that that'll be August 18th. Now I don't know if that's like the only Mutt news we're getting because that is only three days before EA access drops. So I really do hope there's something else. But if you guys do remember from last year, there's a decent amount of leak accounts that do go about leaking Madden news. So last year. We got Mutt Master leaked early before EA Access started, which is pretty cool. So those are some of the big leaks we'll probably end up seeing, but I'll get into all that in just a second, guys. Before we get into the video, head on down below to the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys have been. Let me know what's going on. Are you guys excited for Madden 21? Are you guys still not even on the hype train yet? I know. Probably in about like a week or so. That's when things start getting real hype because then we'll be a week out. As well as, guys, make sure to subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. And if you guys have any other things to add about things you do expect to see in the next few weeks, let me know down below. Now guys, yeah, so the, the biggest the biggest leak will probably be from a leak account regarding Mutt Master. Now, or Mutt Master or uh, like a level up reward kind of card. So as far as Mutt Master goes, if you guys know what I'm talking about, that would be where is uh, right here, Patrick Tillman. So Patrick Tillman would probably be the best example of what we'll end up seeing. So if you guys remember, there was like a picture, it had like a bunch of there was like all the level of stuff and it showed a bunch of Patrick uh, Patrick Tillman or Pat Tillman upgrades. So that's more than likely what I expect to see in the coming days. And we got a free safety. I got a strong safety this year. And we'll get a strong safety. And then, well, before I move into that, we also I also expect to see the level up reward master, which is Tori Holt. So hopefully I can link both these to us at some point. If we can see both those before the game comes out, that'd be cool. Because it kind of gives you an idea of how to plan your lineup. So let's say they announced that the level up master is going to be a tight end and the mutt master is going to be a cornerback. Like, okay, cool. So... Day one, I don't need a tight end. I do need a wide receiver. Secondary-wise, I'm only going to need safeties. I won't need a cornerback because I'll have a main one. It gives you an idea of how to start, which, again, it also probably affects what pack you're going to take for the Team Fantasy pack. So let's say you have a cornerback. I mean, again, you could always just do it for coins, but if the packs come out nat and stuff, do you really want a Jalen Ramsey nat? You know, it all it all depends. It all depends on what you have. If you're going to be a money spender or no money spender. It really all just differentiates from there. So those are the big two ones that I expect to see. Now, who can who could it be? I have no idea. So we have we've had Ricky Williams in the past. We have the Damian Tomlinson, Tory Holt. I believe those were all the level up masters. Now, as far as the Pat Tillman, we had Pat Tillman. We had Ryan Shazier in the last two. These are the last just two years I'm remembering right now. So Ryan Shazier, Pat Tillman, Ricky Williams, the Damian Tomlinson, Tory Holt. So it's been offensively. It seems it seems like for the level master and the Mutt master has been defensively. So I don't know if they'll change that. So let's say they don't. I really don't know what they could do here. So they've done secondary, they've done line, uh, linebacker. I mean, I could see it being a cornerback or defensive lineman. Now, personally, I don't know if I'd want a defensive lineman because then you're locked in with them all year. I'd probably prefer to have it. I'd probably prefer a cornerback. Now, as far as a legend cornerback goes, if they did go that route, I mean, I don't really know what legend they could really take there. I really don't know. Could go as far as good, fun legends to play with that cornerback. Maybe some guy like a, like a, like a Namandi Asamoah. Or one of those guys that like aren't always in Madden like predominantly. That would be pretty cool. And then for for uh, the master, it seems to be a legendary offensive player. So again, don't have any off the top of my head that you can really go. But we've had Tory Holt, Ricky Williams, and Ladanian Thompson. Now guys, I would love Ladanian Thompson again, even if it meant having a running back all year set for me. Now I doubt they'll do that, but it would still be pretty cool to see L um Ladanian Thompson back in the game. Now as far as everything else beyond just the Madden. Uh, those things, they'll probably end up showing screenshots of the Team Fantasy Packs, which you more or less know from the pre-order bonus. There'll probably maybe even be a leak of Lamar Jackson's card, which would be super cool. Usually, there's no stats in these leaks, though, so I don't expect that, but that would be cool. Now, moving on from even that, there'll be probably some leaks of level-up rewards, potentially. Now, I'm pretty sure they had leaked some early stuff like that last year, so would it be cool if they leaked level-up rewards? I mean, personally, I'd probably want to see it. I mean, I don't know if it'll be like a leak of level by level, but there may be some pack leaks. Like, they'll let us know what packs will be in store game one. They'll let us know regarding just day one what we should be seeing. 
Now, as far as actual MUT news, what I do expect is to see the database at some point. Now, if you guys know what the database is, essentially it's just like MUT head. It's like, oh, it is like a MUT head database, and you just go through and they'll show you like all the day one cards. So, like, pretty much it's just, just like they drop the database. So, this is what's going to be, this is what Madden's going to look like day one. So, it'll be all the base leads, all the golds, all the silvers. Let's say flashback type of way to start off for the year in the game. They're there too. So, that'd be pretty cool if we can get an idea for what to look at. So, you'd be able to know, like, oh, these are the elites, and then you could pretty much start planning out stats. Um, if you're a no money spent guy, best budget guys to be buying day one to compete on weekend league. There'll be a lot of good videos for me to make for you guys. There'll be a lot of good info for you guys to intake during that week. So hopefully we get a MUD database now. My fear is that the Madden 18 news, I mean, sorry, the August 18th MUD 21 news is going to be the database. And I really hope it's not because in that case, we're getting the database pretty late considering EA Access comes out in three days. So I really hope that is not the case uh, when they go ahead and give us the database. Because if the database comes out at least like four or five to six days before, a little bit earlier, we can go ahead and pick out budget bees, pick out overpowered players, pick out crazy things to start off with. The, the worst base leads, the best base leads, the ones you need day one, Lamar versus Mahomes, best quarterback. There's just so many things to look into when you start there. Also, it's just interesting to see how the game's going to start day one. You can start building your weekend league looking roster so you can go ahead and actually compete day one. And we won't be overwhelmed when you first get into the game because when you first get into the game, you want to spend a majority of your time doing solos and grinding, getting your team and coins as quickly as possible before you actually go in and sit and relax and like look at cards on the block and see everything. So it'll be beneficial to see all that stuff before the game comes out. And then once it's out, you grind and try to keep up on that race of grinding out. I got grinding everyone. So like I don't know if that'll be the Mutt 18. Well, August 18th, Mutt News. I, I don't know if that'll be it, but more than likely that'll be it. They'll probably drop like a gridiron notes, I imagine on the 18th as well. I don't know if that'll coincide with the database, but it'll probably be something similar to like Weekend League is returning, Seasons is returning, New Seasons rewards, New Weekend League rewards, updated this, updated game mode, yard implementation, uh, updated mud draft rewards. Like that's kind of stuff they'll probably end up showing us now. What do I, what would I like to hear the most from this news? Okay, so first I'd like to hear Seasons update. I'd like to hear that Seasons is a better format. Well, I mean, regular season and playoffs is cool. I want, let me rephrase. I like to hear there's a better reward format. I'd like to hear that there's limited time cards that you can only get through winning Super Bowls, or that there's, or even better, to make it fair for everyone, there's limited time cards you can only get through wins. So let's say for seasons, it's like a season, a uh, series one seasons, wins 250 season games, and you get limited time throwback 2015 Odell on the Giants. Like, obviously, I'm a Giants fan, I'm going to say that, but. I think that'd be super cool. Or let's just go, let's do it even different. Like, throwback LTD for 250 wins. Throwback LTD 2013-2014 Des Bryant. The year he had all the catch, whichever one it was. Throwback Gronk. Like, like a, a limited time Gronk that, or any card that goes back to one of the prime times in their career. 2011 Peyton Hillis. Or if that was the year. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, those would be just super cool cards. They'll be super fun concepts. And it'll give people a reason to grind. Because at Weekend League, we get to a point after like the first month or so when people only really care about Weekend League. And Seasons is like, it's cool. But people are practicing there for Weekend League. So only Thursday through Saturday, Sunday are competitive. And then Monday through Thursday, you're just expecting content and auction and, and solos. And if there's no content or there's no promos or anything, you're kind of bored Monday through Thursday. So what I hope now is they give us something to do for Seasons, like real good rewards, real good matchmaking, real good, you know, all that stuff. I hope that's the route they kind of take with that. Now, as far as Weekend League updates, I really don't care as far as, I mean, I think I like Weekend League the way it is. Only thing I would probably like, honestly, maybe five less games. But what I really care for is probably going to be just a better reward format as well. I feel like I've done Weekend League. They give us packs, but almost always there is a 99% chance, 99.9.9 .9 chance to get something better out of the packs than you do out of taking, I mean, out of the coins than you do out of taking the packs. So make it so the packs actually make me think like, huh, these are pretty good. I, I mean, there's a good chance I hit. And the, like the coin should be like that safe option. Like, you know, I'm a wimp. I can't risk that. Like, but I'm a wimp, even if it means getting like... 10,000 more I want it it shouldn't be like okay I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm smart that's why I'm taking the coins because it's just a guaranteed 60,000 more coins so I hope they change that and then as far as solos everything I mean those will come as they come solo battles will come as they come mud squads will be as they be probably mud draft might accrue some rewards but that's about it hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any other mud news that you're expecting or things you hope to see change comment down below in the description or sorry comment down below the video but about it and guys for watching make sure to sub comment and like i'm out see you guys later enjoy the rest of your day hopefully you guys are getting excited for madden 21 i know i am but that's about it i'm out peace